Okay, getting work done in a task. And this is particularly the case of a bigger task where you're assigned the task and there's lots of work to do on it. So it's going to take you a little while. Uh, we'll cover doing like one step of multiple tasks later on. Okay, so let's say this task here, task one has been assigned to me and it's going to be a few hours work. So first option, uh, I'm going to open it up here. I could add it to my task tray and that's just going to put it down here. That means that no matter where I go and click up, uh, it's just going to follow me around. So it's really easy to get back to it. Totally up to you, optional. Okay, second thing, if you're using time tracking, start that either by clicking the green button here or going inside and clicking the green button in there. At any time you can stop it, uh, but for now we'll leave it running. So you can enter a note to say what you're doing in this time, enter labels for this particular time tracking if you want, whether it's billable or not. Cool. Okay, next up, read the context. So what that means is all the description, perhaps there's a description of what the task is or how to do it, read through that. Uh, if there's any comments, kind of have a look through at least the latest few comments to get an idea of where the task is up to. Um, in many cases, it'll be a new task, so there won't be much to read. Um, but if there is, it's good to have a good, clear understanding of where the task is at. Okay, next thing is to look at the sub items. So look at the subtasks and uh, checklist items and see what has been assigned to you. Is the whole task yours to do, or is it just a couple of uh, subtasks? So in this case, let's say that these two subtasks aren't done. So here I can see that I'm assigned to the task, so I'll assume that the whole thing is mine to do. Uh, but if it wasn't that, if it was just a, a subtask that had been assigned to me, I'd come in and say, oh, okay, actually, I think I'm only doing this little bit here. So always good to check on that first. Okay, next up, uh, get into the work. So a lot of that's going to be involved in collaborating. So you can uh, talk to your team members if they're involved in doing this work with you, uh, ask questions, make requests, whatever you need to get the work done. Okay, once the work is more or less done, what we'll start doing is updating our custom fields. Maybe some of these have changed. So maybe actually this is a um, client request and actually the billing changed to $60 because the work was a bit different from what we initially expected. Also, if you do need to move this task, depending on how your ClickUp is set up, uh, it may kind of move into a different location. And so you can do that up here as well. If there's any files that were completed as part of the work, we'll attach them now, either uploading them from your computer or attaching them from your uh, online file storage platform. Okay, and then we'll change the status. So assuming that it's now moved to the next status, uh, change to the next status or whichever one is appropriate, it is possible that it won't change at all. It just depends on what kind of work you're doing. Uh, but generally, once you finish the work, it'll be going to the next status. Then if needed, you can let the next person know that this task is done. So they may be able to find out just because you've um, changed the status or actually you may even assign it to the next person and then unassign yourself. But you can take an extra step and just uh, let them know as well. So here we'll at mention Sam. We'll say, um, my part is done, ready for you. And then lastly, we can choose whether or not we want to leave ourselves as a watcher. So this is kind of an ongoing task. It's probably gonna produce a bunch of notifications. Uh, if we're involved with it, and maybe we're gonna do some more work on that later, you may wish to stay a watcher and get those notifications. But if it's kind of out of our hands and no longer our business, um, we may wish to remove ourselves so that we don't get any further notifications about it. And then we'll stop our time tracking. And we'll now finish this task and we can move on. So that's getting work done on a task in ClickUp, uh, particularly for um, bigger tasks. Uh, those steps may not all apply to you, just depending on which features you're using or not and what your setup is, but in general, that's the overall flow. Before you go, I've got something for you. After using ClickUp for a while, you'll find that it starts to get cluttered, hard to use, and things can start falling through the cracks, even if you set it up really well. And that's nobody's fault, it just happens. Cars need checkups to keep them running smoothly, and so does your ClickUp. What I have for you is the instruction manual on how. It's called the ClickUp Checkup, and it's a checklist of the things you need to do every one to three months that prevent a whole swath of issues um, that start cropping up after you've been using ClickUp for about a year or so, sometimes sooner. So with it is a training video where I go through each of the checks myself so you can see exactly how I do it and why. A PDF with the checklist and quick reference instructions. And finally, a ClickUp task template. So you can instantly import all that directly into your ClickUp, have it recur each month or quarter um, with the checklist ready to go. Click the link in the description to get it now and prevent the headache of having the clarity you wanted from ClickUp turn into confusion. I'll see you on the inside.